If you do take a look at this channel right here called the 10x income, they actually go on to creating videos that the characters in such videos are actually animated talking characters. Also this channel actually, which is a digital income project, goes on to doing quite a similar kind of stuff right there. And if you do notice the amount of views they actually do go on to get in, they get up to thousands of views right now and even millions of views in some of their videos right there. You can just simply take a look at that right there. So they are actually making a lot of money with this particular strategy and I'm going to show you how you can actually do go on to doing or uh, creating an animated talking character for your videos right now. So basically you just need to come onto this platform right here which is called the Bing AI. So once you're on Bing AI right here, you want to just simply make sure this is on the creative section and you want to just simply go on to type in the description of your animated character which you want to just simply go on to generating. So guys, if I do paste in my description right here, you can actually do see I went on to giving a detailed description even up to the colors, the kind of character I actually want and other stuff right there. You can pause the video to check that out right now. So once I'm done, I'm just going to click on enter and this AI tool called the Bing AI is going to help me generate such characters right now. As you can see, it's actually still waiting for a response and it's actually going on to creating that particular image right now. So take a look at this right here. These are the images that were actually generated for me with the help of Bing AI. As you can see right here, they're actually kind of cool. If you don't like this image right here, you can also go on to asking the AI tool to go on to giving you different variations. So right now, I'm just going to go on to selecting one. Maybe I'm just going to select one of those image right there. And if I do select this particular one, I can then just simply go on to downloading it on my device. As you can see, these are the images right here. Different variations, different images, and how cool the images look like. So basically, I'm just going to download one right now by clicking on this download icon. That will be downloaded on my device. Then you want to head on to this platform right here, which is actually called canva.com. Go on to the video section, select the landscape video, which is going to bring you to a blank page such as this. All you need to do right now is to come onto the upload section and go on to uploading that particular image which you downloaded right there. So if I do upload the image right now, while the image is actually being uploading or uploading on this particular platform, all you actually need to do is to go back to Bing AI and I'm just going to give Bing AI a new prompt. Right now, if you take a look at this, I'm asking Bing AI to come up with a background right now and I'm giving much more details of the type of background which I actually do want right here for the image. So right here, while Bing AI is coming up with that right now, I'm just going to head back to um, Canva right here. I'm going to go on to inserting that particular image. I'm just going to increase the size of the image right now to something so as to actually fit into this size. But if you do want to guys, you can actually go on to removing the background image. If you don't actually like that background, maybe I'm just going to go on to the tool section. So I'm going to go on to apps right here and I'm just going to go on to searching for background remover. Or I could just simply come right here, click on edit. Once you do click on edit, you can see the BG remover. Click on that right there. It's going to help you remove the background of this particular image. And you're just going to be left with this particular AI character. You can see right here, I'm left with the AI character right now. So what I need to do next, guys, is to just simply go back to Bing AI and get the image right here, which I want to just simply go on to utilizing. Supposing I want to utilize any of this image, just simply go on to selecting that. And guys, it's going to take you to the page where you can actually do go on to seeing the images quite better. You can also go on to downloading any one of your choice right now. So if I do download one of these, or uh, I do go on to checking out others, Maybe the one that is actually suitable to you, just simply select that. I do prefer this one right here. So I'm going to head back to Canva right here. going to go on to uploading that right now in this particular section. So if I do click on upload right now to upload the specific one I actually selected, as you can see, that's actually been uploaded. I can then just simply go on to fitting that in right here. And if I do also go on to fitting this in, you can see right here that this is not actually the entire size of this particular um, video page. So which is why you want to just simply go on to editing this right here. If you do click on editing tool right now, you can actually do see this magic expand option. Go on to selecting that right there and you want to just simply select the whole page right now. So if you do click on expand right there, that is actually going to help you expand this particular background which you actually selected right there to fit into the whole page. So you want to wait until this is actually done. So you can see how the background actually looks like right here. So you can go on to selecting any one of these backgrounds right here. You can see there are actually various 
backgrounds you can actually go into selecting just simply select one that is actually suitable to you so i selected this one right here once that has actually been selected guys you can actually generate new results if you want i'm just going to click on done and that has actually been inserted next i'm just going to go on to taking this guys to the backward by clicking on position send backward for my ai character to actually come in you can actually go on to the element section and on this element section guys you can actually go on to type in something like table png and if you do search for table png you'll be able to see a lot of cool tables maybe i want to use this one right here I'm just gonna come right here, insert this to this section, and actually stretch this right here over to this section. So once that has actually been inserted, I'm just gonna go on to rearranging my my character right here to actually fit into this particular section right here. Maybe I'm gonna bring my character to the front right here, so you can see how cool and better this actually looks like. So once that has actually been inserted right here, the next thing which you actually need to do. Is to just simply go on to maybe i want to just simply re mirror this character i'm going to duplicate this right here and actually align with this and just simply go on to turning this right here about um 180 degrees and once i do that right here i'm just going to take this to the bottom to actually mirror this exact same image so once i do this right here you want to just simply go on to the transparency and actually reduce the transparency size to something uh, actually quite mirror that particular image on this section right here that has actually been done right now you also want to just simply go into doing something by adding or looking for something like a microphone so if i just select a microphone right here you can actually do see a lot of actually cool images or options right here so if i go into this section you can see some cool ones right now maybe i just select this one i'm just going to go into reducing the size right here to actually fit into something like this right now this actually look quite okay then you want to also go on to doing the same thing duplicate and actually go on to mirroring this exact same um microphone so if i do mirror this right now and bring this to this section maybe if the microphone is not actually fitting into that you just need to go on to flipping that um horizontally and this is actually done right here you can then just simply bring that to this section as you can see this has actually been mirrored what you need to do next guys is to just simply reduce the transparency for this so once that has actually been done guys you could just simply go on to adding other stuff like maybe you want to just simply add a set of computers behind the side because the table is actually looking quite empty so i'm just going to come right here put in computer right now and i'm just going to go on to adding a set of computers right there behind the, um, just beside them and if you want that you could also go on to searching for a set of speakers you can see some set of speakers right here what i'm going to do right now is to just simply add in this set of speaker right now maybe i'm also going to go on to re removing the background of the speaker using the remove background removal and if i do that right here i'm just going to go on to reducing the size and if i do put that in this section right here all i need to do right now is to actually go on to duplicating this once more and actually go on to rotating this 180 degrees and if i here i'm just going to take that and also go on to mirroring this by reducing the transparency right now as you can see this is actually quite looking dope and okay so once you have done with all this right here to actually make this character start to talk all i need to do right here is to just simply head on to this particular um, chrome store and actually install this chrome zilla right here so if you do install that you just need to come back to that particular canva website and you just want to click on that particular chrome extension if you just select that right here you can actually do see that the color picker panel if you select that right now you want to just simply come right here and select a color so right now you can see the color right here of this i do select i did select the color right now you can see this is the exact same color you can actually do see copy color right now you can see some codes for the color right now so if i do copy the code i'm just going to go on to adding uh shape so if i do add this shape right here as you can see the shape has actually been added what you need to do right now is you're going to select the color for the shape so if i do come onto this color section this section acting for color i'm just going to paste that in and select that you can see that's exactly the same color what i'm going to do right now is to just simply go on to reducing this color right here to actually fit into the mouth section of this particular character right now so what i'm going to do is to just simply make this zoom this quite better and once i do zoom this i'm just going to drag this to this section to actually fit into the mouth section of this particular um 
character and actually align this quite properly so once that has actually been done you can actually do see how cool this actually goes on to looking like right now so next guys you just want to go on to youtube i want to search for mouth with um talking mouth with green background or talking mouth green screen if you do search for that right here you'll be able to see some cool videos right now which you can actually go on to utilizing all you need to do right now is to copy the link right now and if you do copy the link go on to searching for a youtube downloading site so if you do select for a youtube downloading site right here such as save from net paste in that particular link click on download right now it's actually going to help you analyze that particular link to get that exact same video right now and you can just simply go on to downloading that video for free utilizing this particular platform right here as you can see this is the video i'm just going to go on to downloading that right now on my device so once that has actually been downloaded i'm going to head back to canva right here go into the upload section and if i do go into uploading that particular same video right now which i downloaded just now you can see right here this is the video it's going to be uploaded on this platform all i need to do right now is to select the exact same video one that has actually been selected right here as you can see is still uploading once that is done you just need to come back to this particular section select the video and actually click on edit clip you can actually then go on to removing the background right here using the background remover right now and the background for that particular clip will actually be removed so guys take a look at this right here the background has successfully been removed what i'm going to do right now is to reduce the size of this particular video right here as you can see i can just simply go on to reducing that from this section so once you do reduce the size try to reduce it to something that will actually do fit into for this particular um, character right here as you can see i'm just going to reduce this to look quite okay and that is actually looking quite okay if i do go on to playing this right now you'll be able to see that that is actually going to look like this particular character is going on to talking so take a look at this right here it looks like the character is talking because i actually did use a random um mouth which i actually did get talking mouth which i actually did get from youtube right here make sure you do go on to selecting one that is actually quite suitable and cool right now i can actually go on to matching that particular anime character which you are actually using from this platform and if you do use that right here you can actually do see right here that i'm going on to creating a very cool and to amazing talking character which you actually just need to go on to adding an audio at the background right there or a voice over for this to actually go on to make it more sense so that's it for now guys i do hope the video was helpful if yes hit the like button to the video subscribe to the channel and make sure your notification bell is always turned on off